Year by year, I continue to make my case for the independent individual. One might even say the lone individual, except that this phrase has been co-opted to mean an assassin, a killer, which tells us where society is heading. On every possible front, the PSYOP is about discrediting the individual and elevating the group and the collective. I've been around for long enough to see the tectonic shift among so-called intellectuals from admiring and praising the individual to celebrating some sort of spiritual unity that makes us all into one cosmic glob. For example, there really is no separation between us. That's an illusion. Finally, we are one consciousness. I dispute this. I reject it completely. This, yes, insanity arises from a basic confusion and blind spot about the creative power of the individual which has no boundaries. It is quite possible to imagine and create and invent a perception that we are all one consciousness and to experience the fullness of the perception. It is not an illusion. It is quite real. But one can also uncreate that perception. In fact, in the early spiritual exercises of the Tibetan Tantric students and adepts, this on-off creation was a significant component. It was done consciously as a merging and unmerging with nature. It was practiced on a daily basis. In early Tibet, a true unique culture that was soon dismantled and destroyed by theocratic leaders, the individual was recognized as a staggeringly powerful artist. Rather than assume there was one final highest reality we all share, it was understood that the individual could and did invent realities without limit. Presuming to understand a final reality for all of us was considered absurd. It was also a form of fascism, spiritual fascism. Once you embark on a road of imagination and creating, all bets are off. All preconceptions about what you must do, make, think, assume and believe are yesterday's news. The individual is no longer dangerous or deluded or separated from his brothers and sisters by ego or any of the other debilitating formulations that have been offered to convince us we are all one. Here and now, you or I can sit and invent the perception that, yes, we are all one consciousness, and then dispense with that perception. In either case, I'm doing it, you're doing it, you're creating a perception. That's what artists do, what they've always done. Somehow, in this cheesy, spiritually fascist web of confusion, that fact has been lost. People occasionally write to me and say the artist has no function in this society. Well, I'm not talking about function. Function is for machines. Machines aren't free. This society is supposed to exist to allow the individual to flourish, but waiting for that to happen will put you on the track to nowhere. Society is heading for more and more collectivism economically, politically, spiritually. Here is the bottom line. People in this world believe in what they create, except they're not aware of what they're creating. They think, instead, they're seeing what's already there. This missing link explains a great deal. People are playing a shell game with themselves. They're placing the pea inside a particular shell, and then they're turning over the shell and finding the pea. Then they exclaim, look what I found. No, they didn't find it. They put it there to begin with. They created a reality and then denied they created it. This would be like a painter spending six months making a huge work in his studio and then saying, it's a miracle. I walked into the studio today and I found this painting leaning against the wall. Astonishing. Yes. You can conceive of or create all of humanity and stars and galaxies as one consciousness if you want to. You can do that. You can also do something else. In either case, you did it. 
and you can undo it. The clue you should take from that exercise is you have an extraordinary capacity to create content. Dictators and fascists tell you what content you should create and on top of that, they say you didn't create the content at all. It was always there. I could write a science fiction story that goes this way. One day, the guy next door, who is a painter, lugs one of his large canvases into your house and hangs it on a wall. He has a big grin on his face. He's positively serene. He's producing great generosity out of every pore. And he says, look at this. This is what reality really is. Do you see it? It shows that we're all one great consciousness. And the funny thing is, I didn't paint this. It just appeared on a blank canvas. I saw it this morning when I went into my studio. Now, listen, you should believe in this painting too. You really should. This is the higher reality. Yes, I could write this science fiction story, except it's already happening every day.